Okay, so you have a small YouTube channel you're looking to grow. And so all you need to do is leave comments like this on our videos and other people's videos on YouTube. And before you know it, you're gonna have millions of subscribers, just like Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon, and your channel's just gonna take off. Well, you know what? I have some bad news for you. That strategy doesn't actually work. So Sub for Sub has some major issues and can actually get you kicked off of YouTube. So if you stick around, I'm gonna first go through four reasons why you should stop doing sub for sub. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna actually give you four tips on how to really get subscribers to your channel. Reason number one, and probably the most important, sub for sub actually goes against YouTube's community guidelines. So I'm gonna put a link down below in the description to the section on spam, deceptive practices, and scams policies. And what you can read here under incentivization spam, content that sells engagement metrics such as views, likes, comments, or any other metric on YouTube. This also includes content where the only purpose is to boost subscribers, views, or other metrics. Example, offering to subscribe to another creator's channel solely in exchange for them subscribing to your channel, also known as sub for sub. So I thought it'd be important to share with you what happens if you actually violate this policy. I'll read you what it says down at the bottom of the article. If your content violates this policy, we'll remove the content and send you an email to let you know. If this is your first time violating our community guidelines, you'll get a warning with no penalty to your channel. If it's not, we'll issue a strike against your channel. If you get three strikes, your channel will be terminated. If getting your channel terminated doesn't convince you not to do sub for sub, I have three more reasons for you. So reason number two, sub for sub subscribers will not help your channel grow. It's actually gonna hurt your channel. So in an ideal situation, what happens is you get subscribers to your channel because they love your content. You put out a new video, they're notified, they watch that video, they leave a comment, they interact with it, and then YouTube says, hey, this must be a good video, their subscribers are interacting with it, I should find more people like them to show the video to. What happens with Sub for Sub though is the person that subscribed to your channel doesn't care at all about your content, they just want you to subscribe to their channel. And so the issue here is they're not gonna consume your future content. So you have these subscribers that are gonna get notified of your future content and they're not gonna engage with it. This is a really bad signal. If your own subscribers don't like your content, YouTube just thinks no one's gonna like your content. So YouTube is not gonna show your videos to other people on the platform because your subscribers don't even like it. So sub for sub, is not a great way to get subscribers. They're not the type of subscribers you want on your channel. Reason number three, there's better use of your time. So I haven't done sub for sub, but I imagine maybe you can leave 100 comments an hour. And how many people actually subscribed to your channel after seeing those comments? One, two, it can't be all that many. And so an example I wanna give you is this video. So this video on our channel has an awful thumbnail, but you know what, it's creating valuable content that actually help people solve an issue that they had. This video has over 300,000 views and has actually gotten us over 3,000 subscribers. The video only took a couple hours to make and a couple hours to edit. And so with those couple of hours getting 3,000 subscribers versus the time it would actually take to do sub for sub, you're better off creating good content that people are gonna like than wasting your time leaving worthless comments on other people's videos. Reason number four, you don't actually need subscribers to get views on your videos. So if you saw our YouTube SEO video, I'll link to that up above right here, you would have seen that we get around half of our views from YouTube search. So those aren't subscribers, they aren't people that knew us before, they're just looking for answers to questions they have, and they click on a video that looks good to them. So if you're creating content like this, you can get views to your videos, and they don't need to be subscribed to your channel. Actually, if you look at the lifetime of all the views on this channel, only 2% or less than 2% of the watch time came from our subscribers. If you look at our larger channel, the one in Spanish, the Figco en Español, we have 170,000 subs and around 7 million views. The watch time on that channel, around 12% of it comes from subscribers. So the thing is, even on a bigger channel, most of the views are gonna come from people who are not subscribed. So if you're creating great content, people can find it on YouTube, and you don't need to worry about your subscribers as much as you are right now. So as you just saw, we went over four reasons why you shouldn't be doing sub for sub. It's not gonna help you grow your channel like maybe you thought previously, and you could actually get your account deleted. 
And so what I thought would be helpful now is if we went through four tips to actually help you get more subscribers to your YouTube channel. Tip number one, create videos on topics that people are searching for on YouTube. As I mentioned earlier, check out our YouTube SEO video and come up with ideas for topics that people will be searching for in your niche so that your videos can show up day in and day out in search results. This will definitely help you get in front of new people, help you get views and subscribers to your channel. Tip number two, create bingeable content in a narrow niche that your ideal audience wants to watch. And so if you saw our video from last week on how to get 100 subscribers on YouTube, I'll link to that up above if you haven't seen it yet. But one of the things we talked about is a lot of times a viewer wants to watch a couple of your videos before they make the decision on subscribing or not. And so if you create videos just all over the place on different topics, they might not find more than one video that they wanna watch, which means they're probably not gonna subscribe. But if you create a bunch of videos on one topic, people watch one after another, they'll probably wanna to subscribe to your channel so they, so they can be notified of the future videos on the topic that you create. An example of this would be our channel. Right now we're putting out around 20 videos about how to grow on YouTube. So we're thinking of all the questions someone may have about creating content for YouTube. The thumbnail, getting subscribers, monetizing the channel, creating channel art, amongst others. And so someone watches one of them and then they say, hey, that looks good too, I should watch that video. Another example would be earlier this year, I decided I want to do yoga at home. I came across a channel called Manflow Yoga. So I probably watched, I don't know, 20 or 30 videos on his channel, subscribed, some of the videos I've watched multiple times. And so someone that creates content in one niche allows the viewer to watch more and more videos on their channel. And if they've seen a couple, they like it, they're going to subscribe and continue watching new videos that you put out. Tip number three, use cards and end screens in your videos. So if you followed our two previous tips, you're creating videos on topics that people are searching for, and then you're also creating videos within a narrow niche, what happens a lot of times is you're going through one of your videos and there's other content that's related. So it's very easy for you to recommend that someone watches one of your other videos. Hey, right now I could recommend that you watch our YouTube thumbnail video. I'll link to that up above right here. And you see what I did? Someone was watching one video, you recommend another, they watch a few on your channel, and maybe they'll subscribe. Also, if someone gets to the very end of your video, you wanna give them something else to do. They might have more time and not know what they wanna watch next. And so if you say, hey, I think you'll like this video, some percent of people watch the entire video, get to the end screen, click on that next video of yours. And again, they're watching multiple videos on your channel, and the chance that they subscribe is much higher. Tip number four, respond to all the comments on your videos. So if someone takes the time to write a comment on one of your videos, respond to them. Good comment, bad comment, hater, whatever it is, start a conversation with them. The thing is someone watched one of your videos, get to know them, see what's important to them, what other content would they like to see on your channel? We always ask people that when they leave comments on our videos, if they say, hey, you know, great video, or I like this, you know, ask them, hey, are there other videos you'd like to see on our channel? How can I be helpful to you? So this does a couple of things. One is a lot of people they subscribe to on YouTube probably don't do this. And so they feel like they started a relationship, they're getting to know you, you actually respond to them. They wanna help you out and see your future content, so they're very likely to subscribe. The other thing is here is if people see in the comment section that you actually respond back, other people are more likely to leave comments, which again, helps the YouTube algorithm and helps your channel grow. The other thing is having a conversation with someone also is gonna help out when you put out future content. They're probably gonna watch your future videos. They're probably gonna leave comments on your future videos, which are also helping you push your future content. As we mentioned earlier, that's the ideal situation. If you have active subscribers who watch all of your content, interact with it, YouTube will find more people like them to show your videos to and your channel will take off. Before I forget, I wanna let you know that we just created a YouTube masterclass. So this is an hour long training to help you grow your YouTube channel. If you're interested, sign up in the description below. So if you want more tips on how to get subscribers for your YouTube channel, check out this video up above right here. Also, if you wanna learn how to show up in YouTube and Google search results, check out our YouTube SEO video down below. Until next time, bye-bye.